What's up Aphrodisiacs and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am excited for today's video because I will be making my very first dress custom made. Also it's going to be a mermaid tail so this is not an easy dress. I literally was up all night until 7am making my pattern so I'm not going to show you that process because it was a little bumpy to me. I will however show you some animations or diagrams so that you can do that if you have not done that. And I also did not see very many people showing the fabric being sewn together. So there's a few components that I was confused about, such as where the dot goes, how the dot lays, what connects to what, which pieces are facing where. So um, last night, right before I went to sleep at about 6 a.m., I did find one video that showed me what to do with the dot. So I'm going to be piecing that apart and doing that for you guys today as well. So if you enjoyed this video or if you're excited for this video, please make sure that you like, subscribe, and drop a comment because this is one of my first sewing videos, but I would love to bring you guys more. And without further ado, let's get into this video. Thank you. <laughs> Today we're going to be using this very beautiful blue glitter shimmer fabric. It's about two yards long because I'm only about five feet tall, so I don't need much. This is the center back pattern piece. If you have not already downloaded the link in my bio to make your own pattern before you start this video, please do so because it is written out perfectly for you to follow along with. So unfortunately, I did record off camera on accident the cutting part. But if you can look on here, then I'll talk you through it. The top pattern is the center back and the bottom is the center front. The back should be cut on layered fabric while the front should be cut on a fold. If you did do the outline that I provided through the PDF and made your pattern, then you do not need to worry about seam allowance because it already has half an inch of seam allowance taken into accountability. Now when it comes to cutting the bottom, the bigger that you open the squares will make your skirt more dramatic. The front should not be open as much as the back because the back is the main show of the train. I personally cut my front at 12 inches and my back at 23 inches, but that is all up to you and how dramatic you want your dress to be. This is the back of the dress. I will be using this zipper. It is 9 inches because I do plan on doing something different at the top. So I'm not going to do a full zipper. So from there, I'm just going to flip it and pin the back. So if you're wondering, the two sides that I am pinning together is the straight parts of the back side and not the side with the curve for the hip or the waist. Okay. So from here, I'm going to leave it be. I am not going to do the zipper yet. I'm going to so from the bottom to the zipper spots and then I'm going to stop.
So I tried my best to get the invisible zipper like this side on this side. I sewed it like three times, but maybe I'm tripping. I'm a tad bit of a perfectionist, but they look different. Anyways, that's done. So for the dot, after I've done this and I've already weight measured it out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just sew a line across here and a line across here. I would just like to say the internet is listening to me. Listen to this ad that I got delicious twist now that's enough to make you order a special delivery that seems like a lot they're really good dots sensationally seasoned pretzels we got it Boy. i ain't never heard of no dots pretzels and now y'all want to give me some dots when i'm searching for how to do a dot See that? They both have the dots sewn on. The back is connected with the zipper on. So now we're going to attach the front piece to the bottom piece using some pins. I'm going to sew this down with half an inch seam allowance. So let's get started. All right, the sides are all sewed up. So now it's time to open it. I'm excited. She's so pretty. Babe, look at this. Look at this skirt. Oh my god, girl. That is so pretty. Oh my god, girl. Oh, that shit's fire. It's time for the big try on. I'm talking to the camera. It fits me perfectly. Like, it fits me like a glove. It's so cute. I'm gonna go in and edit it because this one is a little longer than this side so i am gonna go in and add just like that little half an inch there so that it's the same length but look at how cute it is Can I get a yes for the dress? The dress. Look at the back. So I decided not to do a train because I'm just going to the movies and you know, it's not a red carpet event. I don't want to be too extra. I want it to be just cute enough for like a casual day out. Look at the back so pretty the front's pretty too it's not as big and dramatic -y, but it's still pretty i'm obsessed i'm obsessed the 
dress is done or the skirt part of the dress is done and it's time to work on the top i tried to find a couple youtubes on the top but it's not easy to find a lace-up corset video that was like easy enough to do and i gotta get started on my hair so i'm gonna cheat and use this so i already know that this is a little too long just based off of what my skirt is even considering seam allowance so It looks like I will be taking off about an inch, an inch just off the bottom, but I'm going to trace this, take an inch off the bottom, trace the back as well for the front and the back, sew the sides together, and then make a lot of straps or one really long strap and two short straps to connect the front to the back, um, and then the long one to lace up the back of the corset. So I'm going to start that now. And let's get to it. I didn't mess around and cut out a lining for the top piece. I just traced it so that the side that I want is um, good to good. And I'm just going to sew it. I'm not even going to pin it. I'm, I'm over it. I'm going to hold it together as I go. And I'm going to start in one corner on the bottom, go around the top, and then come back down to the bottom. I'm not going to sew across the bottom. I am only going to flip it inside out and I'm going to sew it across the bottom when I'm sewing it onto the skirt because I don't want it to be fat, you know, like fat because it'll be, it had a little curve from this. So I'm going to do that when I get there. All right. I've already got the little rings done. These are going to be on the back of the dress and I've got all the straps done. So basically I just need to do this, assemble the dress, put those rings on and lace it and I'm good to go.
All right, guys, the dress is almost done. As you can see, I've attached this and I think I've decided not to do, I'm gonna ignore this because it'll be in my armpit. I don't really care. I've decided not to do straps. To finish up the dress and close it, other than the zipper, because it is strapless, I'm gonna be taking these and putting it like this, making it into a U. I'm just putting it on the top and sewing it down so that I can lace it up. And I'm gonna do four on this side or five, um, and four or five on the other side, and I'll be back with you. First one done. That's what it looks like. Isn't it crazy? This is your reflection. You know what a reflection is? Saga. all right guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you enjoy watching me make a mermaid dress from nothing but some fabric two yards of fabric some scissors and some time i'm loving this i love the back i love that i decided to do it strapless i think it's a little fun it's given summertime and absolutely love the skirt i probably would do a train if i were going anywhere but to the movies but for today this is perfect all right, guys, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this YouTube, please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more videos on the way.